As some of you guys know, today is my five year anniversary on this game, and I just wanted to share with you some memories that I have of the game. All of this stuff is off the top of my head, and it'll just be as I walk from Varrock, from the Grand Exchange, to Lumbridge, and buy my five year veteran cape. Uh, I remember starting RuneScape back in, back in around 2006 is the first time I ever actually played RuneScape. I went over to my friend Chris's house. I was, um, I think this is probably 5th or 6th grade. And I went over to his house and we made an account for me. He played it, I didn't, you know. Um, I... I, I was little. My my name was something stupid like Snack Lad sixty three or something like that. I've I knew it had the words. I knew it was Snack Lad some number, um, and I don't I don't remember the password or the numbers after the name, so I can't really log on to it. That would be awesome though if I could. And I didn't like it, so I just said, "Yeah, this game is pretty stupid," and I quit. You know, I'll, I pretty much just did Tutorial Island and stuff. And then, time went on. All throughout 6th grade, I played a game called Dragon Fable, which is may, a game that, you know, it's it was kind of popular, but, you know, I, I think it actually might still be going on. I'm not really sure. But, I played Dragon Fable. All my friends, they would talk about RuneScape, and I just always was like, yeah, I don't like that game. And then it was 7th grade, back in... November of 2007, the start of 7th grade, basically the start, and I don't know, something possessed, oh yeah, no, it wasn't just something possessed me, it was my friend, um, my friend Justin at my school, he said, you know, he was playing the game at the time, and he told me to log on and make an account and stuff, so I did, so I created the account Ben's 499, just, it was just, well, at the time, I had an obsession with cars. I really liked all kinds of cars. I printed off pictures of cars. I got car magazines. I looked up pictures of cars on the internet. All kinds of stuff. I was just absolutely fascinated with cars. So, basically, what I did is I took the name Benz because, it, as you know, it's a kind of car. Mercedes Benz. And it also has my name, Benz, like Benz account. That's where I was going with it. And then I just chose random numbers. Uh, people think that the um, 999, the 99, the 499 symbolizes something. It really doesn't. But yeah, so uh, so there's that. Uh, we're already in Lumbridge. This is unfortunate. I think we're going to go ahead and walk to Drainer because I just feel like talking about all this stuff. Alright, so basically, I started up the account and I played with my friends Justin and Shahir. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I just I started to love the game. I remember I remember when I first started I had no idea how to get to the wilderness, but it really intrigued me. This is before free trade and the wilderness was removed. This was, you know, late two thousand seven, pretty much right before it actually. And yeah, I would I would ask people like how do you get to the wild? How do you get to the wild? And people wouldn't tell me for some reason. I don't know. And then this guy ended up showing me. I was very happy. I jumped across that ditch. I actually got lured a few days later. I had a steel two-handed sword that my friend Chris gave me because he was around level 40 at the time, and he was a member. And I thought that it was just crazy how amazing his account was. So, so basically, I, you know, I would just, he gave me a steel two-hander. I thought it was so good. It was worth, oh, oh, wait, 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 real quick, um. Th these are just going to be little memories that I have as I walk around the game. This isn't going to be in any order, but well, I'm going to try to keep it in some kind of order. But uh, but yeah, so when I first started, I was at the Lumbridge Bank up at the top floor, like before, you know, obviously I couldn't use the recipe for disaster chest. And I I had some runes in my bank and I tried to sell them. And I was I I had no idea what to expect because I didn't know that the I didn't I thought that a thousand coins was a ton and I literally had this thought in my head I don't think anybody has a thousand coins like I <laughs> this is probably my first or second day playing the game though so I had no idea about this game like no idea that people had max cash stacks and stuff like that but but yeah so. 
So I was pleasantly surprised when a guy offered me about 1.5k for my runes, and I was so excited. Uh, but yeah, going back to to what I was saying, I got a steel two ender, which now that I know, now they're worth around 600 GP. I think they were on 1.5k when I got it. Maybe not though, because the Grand Exchange was already released when I started. Or if it, I don't think it actually was, but it was released very shortly after I started. So. So I got the steel two-hander, and then this guy asked me to come with him into the wild. And, well, because I really wanted to go to the wild, I'm like, oh, cool, man. Yeah, let's go to the wild. And it was my it was the time I got lured. I lost my steel two-hander. And, yeah, he was around, like, a level 40, and he killed me. I was around, like, a level 10, I think. So that has taught me to never get lured. To be honest, I think that you need to get lured at least once to know that lesson, to know what it feels like. Not really, but yeah, so so I got lured, and there we go. So I basically just never got lured again, but then I just started to understand the game more. I remember when I became somewhat higher level I would go to my friend Chris's house who actually lives in my old town I had moved away at this point but I still went there on the weekends to go to my father's house which I still do and I still I'm still friends with this person but uh, um, I would go over to his house I'd bring well no I wouldn't bring my computer because I didn't have a laptop at the time so I would we would just take turns and we would mage the lesser demon in wizard tower and it was just an amazing experience because just maging that lesser demon it, because of the chance of the rune helmet, the rune med helm, you know, it was just so excited for it. And when you got it, it was like, yes, 10K. You were so excited to get that 10K, which now, you know, I sometimes don't pick up items that are worth that much if I don't have room for them. So... The times have really changed. Um, I remember doing Tutorial Island, and I just, like, I would make new accounts just to see how fast I could get through Tutorial Island. Like, I think I had it, like, five minutes or something, or four minutes. I'm not really sure, but but I just loved, I loved Tutorial Island. I hated it at the same time, though, but I really miss it. I remember doing Wolf Whistle the quest wolf whistle because summoning came out pretty much right after I started you know like I started in November 2007 it came out in January 2008 so it's not it wasn't right when I started but whatever um I remember doing the quest wolf whistle and it confused me so much how I needed to get I think four lots of wolf bones see at the time I thought that a lot was like this much like four four items of it so i thought i needed 16 wolf bones so this is what i did to get the wolf bones i ranged it was either range or mage i cannot remember but i either ranged or maged the um the wolves in the rd zoo and telly grabbed the bones and did it that way that's how i got them i just i just that's a really fond memory i have I also remember training relentlessly on the Jogers and the Ogres, or Cyclops, I think it is, in the Arty Zoo, because they're right next to each other. And I got 50 range, and I passed my friend's cousin in range, which was a giant accomplishment for me, because he was like around level 60 at the time, so he was an absolute pro. Uh, I remember... I I just can't really I don't know. I just I have so many great memories of this game. I uh I remember training mining in the Alcarid mine. I remember mining bronze, I mean copper and tin and smithing it and smithing it into things. Um I I remember burying bones for prayer. Oh, this reminds me. I remember the gnome copters. Remember when the gnome copters came out? I think that was probably 2009. And um, you could, like, tour member stuff. I was a member at the time, but, yeah. 
I remember taking my first screenshot of the game, which was me getting 1,000 total level, and I remember it being in the drainer market. I don't remember what level I got, and I don't have the screenshot anymore, but I really wish I did. Uh, I remember getting um, 666 total. I thought that it would be hilarious at the time if Jagex like, sent some kind of like devil after you or something when you got that level. But I, I was actually at the RD market thieving. I was a big fan of thieving back in the day. Oh, probably one of my most fond memories, uh, aside from like meeting friends and stuff, but I'm not going to mention that because I've talked about that in a lot of other videos, but um, I went to a drop party once in, a par in the party room, and I got 25 mil cash, and it was the greatest moment of my RS career probably because 25 mil when I was, I was probably level 60 at the time, I just, it was amazing absolutely amazing i bought um full dress uh, actually first i bought a santa hat and i i would buy the, this is when ge had max and min prices and i would buy the santa hat for max sell it for min then i'd buy full dragon for max sell it for min and i probably lost like five mil total but but yeah so there's some random memories of the game let's go ahead and turn on run catch up to hans and buy this veteran cape yeah i'll take it it cost me 50k but I don't know. Let's let's do the emote. All right, guys. Well, here's to five more.